Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, uh, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, a mathematics teacher. In today's lesson, we are informed to work and lesson 24. And the topic is uh, rotation and the subtopic is uh, determination of center and of rotation and also the angle of rotation. On to the lessons or objectives, uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, highlight the procedure followed when determining the center of rotation uh, and the angle of rotation. And number two, determine the center and also the angle of rotation. Uh, on uh, rotation through a uh, negative angle, uh, the angle should be measured. Uh, I said that uh, you, sh you are supposed to measure it in, uh, and in um, clockwise direction and that is it and there is an example here given that uh, the coordinates of a triangle abc are a 4 2 uh, b 2 2 and c 4 6 and its image has the following coordinates a 1 uh, negative 2 uh, 6 uh, but before we come to the image we can uh, confirm whether the object the coordinates of the object are well plotted uh, you have uh, the coordinates as A, 4, 2. You can see on this diagram, uh, 4, 2, it is here, 8 is well written. And B, uh, 2, 2, and you can see it was 2, 2. And C, supposed to be uh, 4, 6. So it is well uh, represented, it is well plotted. Then, uh, then you are told images of the following coordinates. The coordinates are supposed to be negative 2, 4. You can see uh, it is A, negative 2, 4. It is well, uh, it is well uh, plotted. Uh, then we have B1, that is the image of B. Uh, it is at negative 2, 2. So you can see uh, it was negative 2, 2. And C supposed to be negative 6, 4. And you can see on the diagram is negative 6, uh, 4. So that is the first step. So you are supposed to, uh, actually, in this one, you are supposed to uh, get uh, to plot it on a Cartesian plane. The first step is you plot them. You plot the coordinates of the object and also the coordinate of the image. Then after that, uh, what are you supposed to do? Uh, you are required to do what? Plot the coordinates of the triangle ABC and those of the image of the Cartesian plane and hence determine the center of rotation and the angle of rotation. Uh, so the first uh, part of the question, we have dealt it with because uh, we have already uh, plotted. I have shown you uh, how you are supposed to uh, plot. It is here. Uh, the object is here and the image is here. Then after that, uh, you are supposed to follow this procedure so that you can determine the center of uh, rotation. Uh, you are supposed to join point A to its image, that is A1, with a straight line. So you can see that here uh, th in the procedure there, uh, construct, then from there, construct a perpendicular bisector of line A, A1 to power 1 and name it as perpendicular 1. So we can see where the image is. You can see A is connected to A. Then there is this perpendicular here which is uh, constructed to bisect, the perpendicular bisector is constructed there, and therefore that becomes P1. Then after that, you will go to the next uh, procedure, that procedure number three. Join B, also the coordinate B to B1, uh, with a straight line, construct a perpendicular bisector uh, that will join B, B1, uh, and name it P2. That is the perpendicular two. And you can see that on this diagram, it is, that is what has been done. So B, uh, B, B is here. It is connected to B1. And also there is a perpendicular bisector here. You can see this one. Uh, the perpendicular bisector comes at Y axis. And therefore that becomes the P2. And we go to the next procedure. And the next procedure is that construct a perpendicular bisector. We have already done that. Uh, procedure number five. Uh, mark the point where P1 and P2 meet as P3. So you can see that where the two meet, uh, it, they meet at 0, 0. And that the P3, that is exactly what we have been told to do. Then you are supposed to join A to P3. 
join A to P3 and A1 to P3. Uh, then after joining uh, A, you join A to P3. You can see here A to P3 and also you join A1 to P3. And the next point what which you are supposed to do, you are supposed to uh, measure the angle A, P3, A1. And that angle after measuring it, you will get it as 90 degrees. But it depends with the direction of measurement. If you measure in clockwise direction, it is not 90 degrees. But it will become negative. Uh, it will become a uh, negative 270 degrees. So if it is measured in a clockwise direction, it be it covers this, uh, this, all this from here uh, up to this one. The angle which is below the one, the the angle where the 90 degrees is not indicated, because we normally know angle at a point adapts to 360, and therefore if the angle between uh, angle, the smaller angle where the 90 degree sign is indicated is 90 degrees, meaning that the remaining angle should be negative, uh, should be 270. And because uh, you, uh, you you measure that angle in ant, uh, in a clockwise direction, that's why I'm referring it to as negative 70. So the answer to this question, it is either positive 90 degrees, if the angle is measured in an uh, anti-clockwise direction, but if the angle is measured in clockwise direction, the angle becomes negative 270. And the point where the two perpendicular meets, that is the center of rotation. That marks the center of rotation. And I think I have uh, exhausted all my explanation. And I'm going to give you assignment and the question reads, write the procedure followed when determining the center of rotation and the angle of rotation. For reference, you can refer from secondary mathematics, student book two, and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. Uh, for more information, you can reach us or contact us at Elim TV using the following addresses. Uh, we have SMS using the number, which is well displayed for you, uh, using YouTube, Facebook platform, and also Twitter, at TV underscore ke. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, bye bye.